What's playing this game, I've come to realize something. This is the best Kingdom Hearts game. Not because of the gameplay, and certainly not because of the story or the characters, but just because we are able to rename some of the special moves that we have, and I didn't realize it till now. So, I actually, one thing I want to check. Can we only rename the finish commands, or can we also rename the D-Link finish commands? Because that would be great. Uh, no, it doesn't look like we can rename the D-Link finish commands, but one thing you can do, when you max out the D-Link's level, you unlock the second finish uh, command. So here we've got, like, Armored Ventus' finish, which is the air dive. If you want, you can switch back over to the initial finish command if you don't like it as much. Air Dive is one of those ones where you might want to switch back to the original one, just because Air Dive can whiff a lot. But I prefer Air Dive just because it does deal a heck of a lot of damage. And same with Aqua. Now that we've maxed out Aqua's D-Link, her new finish command is Magic Volley, where it summons a bunch of, like, magic balls and you teleport and uh, throw them at enemies one by one. It's cool, but it's also long, so if you want a shorter but sweeter finish command, then maybe go with the default, but I'm keeping those at the regular. Rats, so we can't rename those. Oh well. So we're done with the Sleeping Beauty world, Enchanted Dominion, so now we have two different options. We can head over to the Castle of Dreams, which is the Cinderella world, and that's combat level 2. Or we can head over to the Dwarf Woodlands, which is the Snow White world, and it's combat level 3. I'm actually going to opt for neither of those. We're going to the Land of Departure. Uh, let's go to the Summit. Shockingly, Terra failed the Mark of Mastery exam. Oh no. And the reason we're heading to the Land of Departure is because there are some treasure chests here. And if we don't get them now, well... If you save them for later, you may not get them later. I'll just say that. You can never permanently miss out on them, but it's, they're going to be a lot harder to get later on. Plus, the stuff that they have inside are generally, like, not great stuff. So you may as well get them now. Whee! Oh, this is so fun. I'm glad that Terra's slide makes him go fast, because Terra's pretty slow otherwise, especially in the air. Woo! Stop right there! We just got a new command. Is that all of the chests? I like how you can check the uh, reports to see how many treasures there are. Yep, we got them all. Sweet! One thing we should also do is adjust our command deck. We don't need... Actually, no, we are going to keep Sliding Dash, just because that has some utility. But we want to equip Stop, and we want to equip Sleep again. And one thing you can do is you can actually change the order of the commands in your deck by pressing right on the D-pad, then moving them up and down. Then you can press left on the D-pad to go back. Or you could do it the other way around. No big, No biggie. Well, so let's see if we can meld more commands. Can we meld Stun Edge with Zero Gravity? We can... Oh, and we get Binding Strike. Is that so? Well, it's time to break out the trusty old melding guide so I can figure out what ability to attach this to. First of all, we have a Pulsing Crystal and a new one, a Soothing Crystal. Used when melding commands, it attaches HP-related abilities. One, for example, which boosts your maximum HP. You know what? Because we are Terra, we're going to go with a Pulsing Crystal. This gives us Binding Strike with a Combo F boost. That is an abbreviation for Combo Finisher boost. Basically, the finishing hits of our combos will now deal more damage if we have that ability in use. And since we are Terra and physical combos are kind of forte, I thought that that would be a good choice to have. Beautiful. So if we go down to Abilities, Abilities are bonus skills tied to commands. Just install the command to gain its ability. Abilities boost stats or provide special skills. Gain a new ability by adding a synthesis item when you are melding the commands. Yep. Auto abilities are permanent and you don't have to have them installed in your deck. You gain that auto ability by raising a command with that ability to the maximum level. I think we explained that. So there's a bunch of abilities in the game. We only have scan. We're in the process of mastering Leaf Bracer. Uh, we have a zero EXP, but we don't have it equipped for obvious reasons. And now we have combo finishing boost. And also you can see we can actually get up to two combo F boost abilities. Right now we only have one, but if we get a second one, it'll boost the power even more. So that's pretty nice. Another thing we can do is we can uh, see our new Keyblade. So right now we have Earthshaker, the Keyblade you started out with. What it lacks in reach, it makes up for with a slight boost in strength. So that is free strength, one magic. The Fairy Stars has two strength, free Keyblade that provides a balanced boost in strength and magic. I'm actually going to keep my default Keyblade because I'd much rather have plus one in strength than plus two in magic. At least when I'm Terra. Because Terra's magic is pretty bad no matter what you do. 
Terra is all about those physical combos. Oh, one other thing I think I want to bring up. I think if we go to reports, we can look at command styles, maybe? Where do we go look at command styles? Here we go. Command style. So we have critical impact, activates when you use attacks like Quick Blitz. Then we got a new one at the end of the Enchanted Dominion. Diamond Dust. It activates when you use Blizzard related commands. So this one basically will turn all... Critical impact kind of turns our attacks into just like more powerful attacks. Diamond Dust kind of turns our attacks into ice based attacks, even our physical attacks. It's kind of interesting, so I'll try to activate it when I get the chance. Oh, one other thing. <laughs> I know it's going to take forever to get these episodes started, but if I go to my finished commands, I renamed the first one. Can I rename the second one? No. Okay, so you have to unlock the commands in order to rename them. All right, then I'll do them. I'll just rename them as we get them. All right, so here's the thing. We could go to two different worlds. Castle of Dreams is the next world in terms of combat level. So this is, difficulty-wise, this is the one you should do next. But in terms of what chronologically happens and story-wise, you actually need to go to Dwarf Woodlands next. You can go to either of them in any order, but the plot doesn't really line up unless you go to Dwarf Woodlands first. So even though it's combat level 3, I'm gonna go to Dwarf Woodlands first. Going to Dwarf Woodlands also will give us some nifty new commands earlier than we would normally would. And oh hey, it's Queen Grimhilda. Spirit of the Mirror. Come from the farthest space. You sound exactly the same as Maleficent. Darkness, I, summon thee. I know, it's the same Please. voice actress. Show me thy face. What wouldst thou know, my queen? Magic mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? Famed is thy beauty, majesty, but who? A lovely maid I see. Alas, she is more fair than thee. Alas for her. Reveal her name. Lips red as the rose, hair black as ebony, skin white as snow. Oh, snow white. <laughs> Tara's like, well, this lady seems crazy. <laughs> A mirror that knows and sees everything. How about that? The heart of Snow White doth shine bright. Beware, my queen, a heart of light. Another one? Wait, what if Master Xehanort is here? <gasps> Who goes there? I was just wondering about Master Xehanort. <laughs> Don't my mind me. My name is Terra. I'm looking for a man named Xehanort. Master Xehanort. I thought maybe you might have seen him. That name is of no consequence to me. Wait. Ah, yes. I have a task for you. If you succeed, I will ask the mirror where you might find this Master Xehanort. And the mirror will know? Maybe. Do you dare to question me? Yes. <laughs> What is the task? <laughs> there is a young maid who resides in this castle. Her name is Snow White. Kill her. And to make sure you do not fail, bring back her heart in this. Her heart? I don't understand. You're after the Hearts of Light too? What I demand is her life. I've had more than enough of her light. <laughs> what is this? What oh did this maiden do to you? That is no concern of yours. Now, heed my words. My radiance is all the light this kingdom needs. Let's go. Where can I find her? Outside the castle. There is a glade of wildflowers. You are dismissed. Go now and seek her there. What the heck? Heart of light. <laughs> this Snow White is my best chance right now. Maybe she will lead me closer to Master Xehanort. But what if I... 
No, I won't let that happen. Now with that, welcome to the Dwarf Woodlands, even though we aren't going to be exploring the woodlands at all, or the dwarves, <laughs> but at least it doesn't have an original world. So, um, Terra meets again the main villain of the story, pretty obviously evil. She's like, find this young girl, kill her, put her heart in the box, and Terra's like, okay, maybe it'll be me to Master Xehanort. <laughs> like, really, Terra? Like, I know it's implying he's not actually gonna do it, but, like, he doesn't even question being like, What the heck, you crazy witch? What are you doing? <laughs> Why are you still here? Go swiftly and bring me Snow White's heart. <laughs> hey, you like Ice Lady? <laughs> Dang, she's invincible. Rats. All right, well, uh, Terra is continuing his path to, towards evil, and we're going to explore the Queen's Castle. Oh boy, maybe do some sequence breaking. So, well, we do have the Maleficent D-Link, and we've got some enemies here. I did not say Aqua. I very clearly said Maleficent. Here we go. Maleficent D-Link. We've got Fire Sleep, which is a fitting, and Binding Strike. Binding Strike can briefly stun enemies. It's not great, though. And we have Blackout, too. Oh boy, a level up. For this, we get Focus Saber. So I'm gonna just revert, get some more Link points, and then hopefully uh, go back in. So Focus Saber has an ability, basically when we're delinking Maleficent now, we can use Shot Locks without draining our Focus Gauge nearly as much. Observe. Let's go. Didn't really look like we were saving much focus, but there we go. Ooh. Now that we've gotten it to level two, we get a little bit of a finisher. Fire. Fire. But now we get a bunch of fire spells and ignite. Ignite's pretty good. Unless Terra dies while you're casting it. That's not as good. Alright, let's let's try it again. Ignite, when you cast it, it'll basically gradually burn an enemy and they'll take damage over. Oh my gosh, yes! That's good. We got the flower like immediately. Beautiful. So as you can see, our combos are slightly different because we're delinking and Maleficent. And we got the second one already, and now we have Focus Saver and Drain. Drain, if memory serves, basically every time you hit an enemy with your physical attacks, it'll restore a tiny bit of your HP. Let's try to see that in action. Alright, we're taking some damage. Yep, it's very slight, though. So you don't want to rely on that exclusively for healing. It's, it's not really great for getting your HP back. It's more just good for getting your HP, stopping your HP from going down too hard. And here we get the new fish command. Dragonfire. This is the super finish command for the Maleficent D-Link. That's interesting. We didn't even get to show off the regular finish command. This is a new enemy. Sometimes the giant treasure chests will actually be evil unversed if you try to open them, but they're pretty easy to deal with, so. Terra Smash! Ooh, and our sleep leveled up. How grand. This whole... the castle is kind of interesting. There's actually a couple of puzzles that you need to solve to go forward. So that helps us go up higher. Another one of the... yep. Ooh, I'll try to show off the Diamond Dust command style. Blizzard Edge will help us get there. There we go. So as you can see, now basically all of our attacks are similar to Blizzard Edge. So it'll deal extra damage against fire-based enemies, but it'll still damage ice-based enemies. It's not going to deal less damage against ice-based enemies. Which is actually pretty nice. And it's very cool looking. And that's the finish command. It's an interesting, it's a fun one. Oh, that's right. Stop is not particularly great in the Kingdom Hearts games, because you, they don't take damage while they're stopped. 
You have to wait for their for them to all be oh shoot. Ugh. This also means because we're facing stronger enemies than we normally would, you can see that our uh, our commands are leveling up a lot faster than they would in the other worlds. Ooh yeah, get wrecked. Smash! A balloon letter. That is a weird one. That's like an item similar to a potion. But if you use it, it refills some of your dealing gauge. It's not bad. But I generally wouldn't equip it as one of my commands, though. It's really only useful in boss battles where you don't actually get link points. Or you can use it from the command menu and just refill it if you're in desperate need. Or you could just take an intentional death. So the potions will drop different things depending on what color they are. The green ones will drop HP orbs, the blue ones will drop link prizes. As for the red ones, they will blow up. You can use them as offensive weapons, but they can hurt you as well. Oh, that's not good. Now we have to go for the whole room again. Should have left the room and come back. Great. Well, maybe I can show off Maleficent's regular finish command now. Otherwise, <laughs> well, no, it was nice knowing you. Man, Maleficent's dealing gauge doesn't seem to be filling up nearly as fast as some of the others. Oh, here we go. There's the finish command. We can move this around and summon lightning. Not great. Well, I gotta I gotta level up the Maleficent D-Link gauge again and go back to where we were, so I'll just see you guys later. <laughs> Alright, Terra's back no worse for wear. Uh, we climbed the area, we defeated all of the enemies, we got uh, some of our commands to level up. We did not get Maleficent back up to a level 2 D-Link anymore, or max level D-Link. Just because the game would not spawn in any flowers, really. So, it was a bit stingy and we almost died. I had to use a potion. But that's okay. We're going on to the next room. And this room is quite tricky. This is a room where we got to be uh, on point with our attacks, I'd say. Yes, I love that. I love how much like in all the other Kingdom Hearts games... Uh, for the, oh, there we go. Yeah, if you hit that, then the gates will open up. Yeah, much like in the other Kingdom Hearts games, uh, there will be enemies that have elemental weaknesses to certain magic spells. So these fire enemies are going to be weak to ice attacks, which is where the Diamond Dust uh, command style is really going to come in handy. And yes, the Diamond Dust command style is the same name as the Keyblade that you get from Ice Titan in Kingdom Hearts 1 Final Mix. Continuity. more enemies around? I've got the Diamond Dust finisher already. Aren't there enemies around here? Rats. So we could just head out, but there's a lot of secret stuff in this room. For example, using these switches we can get further and deeper into the dungeon, which leads to some hidden rewards. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I could be leveling up the Maleficent D-Link. Look how weak Terra's fire attacks are, man. At least Ignite deals uh, constant damage regardless of your magic stat. Which makes it a very good uh, command to use on a level 1 playthrough. Because it doesn't matter what level you are, it will deal the same steady damage. Oh boy, a potion. Alright, this gate now opens up. Hopefully we can get more Maleficent <laughs> level, uh, flowers. No, nope, but we got a soothing crystal. Yes, that's nice. 
No! There he fell down the waterfall! How could you? Now I gotta do all of these gate puzzles again. I do appreciate that Birth by Sleep actually tries to make, like, puzzles in some of the areas. Yeah, we don't do much exploring of the woodlands, though. It's pretty much entirely confined to this castle. So, in a way, this is, uh, it's kind of similar to the, uh, Enchanted Dominion. We just walk around a castle a bunch. Oh boy, a Panacea. I'm definitely never going to be using those. Oh boy, a block recipe. Oh shoot, we weren't fast enough. If we hadn't stopped to fight the enemies, we could have gone through. Well, now we gotta do the gate puzzles again. Because... Terra done. We should probably revert out of the D-Link. No use draining my D-Link gauge if I'm not actually actively D-Linking. Gotta be a bit fast to get through there, but that, that leads us to two treasure chests. One contains Poison Edge, and the other contains a Fire. And these are special enemies! These are special on Verse that will drop uh, special ingredients as we uh, hit them. We're getting Gasberries, Minty Mints, and Nutty Nuts. Which is... Probably one of the most uh, clever names since Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze named the level J Jam and Jams. Man, the ever's all disappeared. There's a much better way of efficiently taking care of those guys and getting a bunch of ingredients all at once, but we don't have that method right now. Anyhow, heading through here. Oh, finally, daylight. We're in the palace courtyard and we get a potion to make up for the one that I had to use climbing back up the room again. Also, if we go to the Moogle shop now... Well, there's a bunch of stuff we can buy, including fires, and we can buy cures now, too. Yes, please. I would like, uh, two of them. Thank you, there. Thank you kindly. I also think I would like a fire. Actually, I think I would like two fires. We're spending, like, all of our money on that, but it's okay. It's worth it. So if we go to our command deck... Oh, shoot. Hang on. I think I, I, think I goofed up. <laughs> yeah. I probably should have bought a second sliding dash, but we'll make do with just this one. All right. So there's another chest in here with a sewing crystal inside. Now, so you see that ledge all the way up there? There is a chest on that ledge, and there is something really good in that chest. You're not supposed to be able to get to that chest until later on in the game, but we actually can get it now. Ooh, but first, big chest down here. Terra Smash! We get the map of the area. How convenient for Queen Grimhilda to hide the map to her castle at the end of the castle. So there is actually a way that we can sequence break to get to that platform early, and it involves us using sliding dash. So what we can do is if we get on the exact right part and then time our sliding dash so that we jump and then sliding dash, we can make it up to the top of that wall. So first, so here's step one. We gotta get the camera right. Jump, sliding dash. It's kind of like that, but we need to get a little bit more distance. So we want to jump like at the very end and maybe get a running start. It also would help if our uh, sliding dash recharged just a little bit quicker. I just, I don't want to turn the camera that much, Terra. Ooh, that was close. If I had aimed it, so, if I had aimed it a little bit better, then that would have been it. All right, let's try that again. You get, it's pretty precise, but once you get up onto the wall, it's very simple to get up to the top part. All right. All right, Terra. All right, Terra. Let's let's not be a goon here. Terra, when I say jump, I want you to jump. All right, buddy. Terra, you are really bad at jumping. My goodness. Oh, that was so close. It's annoying that you can't grab onto that. So maybe instead what we want to do is jump from here. From this railing. Oh, oh, that's it. Yeah, okay. Let's get up around this part. The third crack. 
Trust me, it is worth it. Okay, that was poorly aimed on my part. Maybe we'll try the fourth crack. Also, how far you dash with Sliding Dash does depend on what level it is. The higher the level, the more you dash. Beautiful. Just like that. Now what we do is we wait for our Sliding Dash to recharge, and then we jump and do a Sliding Dash to get to that chest. Normally, they want you to wait until you've got an Air Dash ability, but no, we're getting it now. Because this is a really good treasure chest. And inside, we get Fission Fyraga. Not even just regular Fyraga. Fission Fyraga, which is going to be a pretty doggone nice. So, uh, we got to... Okay, I don't really want to start... Well, no, Binding, that does give me combo F boost. Okay, one thing, replace Potion with Cure, without question. We don't need Potions no more. Um, and then we start... Okay, we definitely want Fission Fyraga. It's so good. And we'll start leveling up one of the fires. Alright, that's good. Fish and Fyraga is kind of crazy. So it's like regular Fyraga, but it's even better. And Fyraga is not something we're supposed to have until much much later in the game. So if this shoots like a giant ball forwards, and if it hits an enemy, you're going to deal massive damage. It's great. Trust me. So I accidentally spent way more money than I thought, but may, may, eh, well, we'll see. I definitely want a second Sliding Dash, though. Sliding Dash is good. I wonder if that's her. Better kill her. Oh. Hey, girl. Who are you? Aren't you startled? That's, you have a way with the ladies, Tara. Should I be? Yeah, I'm here to kill you. It's true that her heart is pure light. No, I think she's just naive. She's one. Is something the matter? Oof, I forgot Snow Does White's voice is a bit grating. Xehanort mean anything to you? Bro, you would be obsessed with Xehanort. I know. I don't think I've ever heard that name. Now what? You're useless, Tara leaving. <laughs> First. Hey, wait! Don't go in there alone. Out of my way. Well, I hope Snow White can run fast. Because <sighs> that's the last we're seeing of her. Defeat all the Unversed. Oh, Terra's so mad! Terra destroy floods. Blam! <laughs> 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 Diamond Dust Time! That's Terra's new theme song. I hope you like it. Oh, these bunnies are annoying. So are the fat guys, though. <laughs> I know I just used ice attacks on you, but now I'm gonna use fire! It's critical impact! You're so done. Boom. Oh, you think you're done? Look at that. Explosion time. Uh-oh. Now this seems like a great time to try to level up Maleficent again. With our shot lock. See how cool the shot locks are and how good they are as you level them up? Oops. I didn't know how to press the right button. No! Snow White, I needed you to save me! <laughs> I told you, critical mode is no joke. Also, if you die in the battle, you can just choose to retry instead of having to start at the last time you, uh... The last time you entered a specific room. That's nice. Oh, hey, now we can just level up Maleficent right from the get-go. That's nice. Let's see if we can get ourselves another flower. The flowers are completely random whether they spawn or not, so you might get one like immediately, or you might defeat like 30 enemies and not get a single one. It's just, it's up to the luck of the draw. God, I hate the floods. You're done. 
Let's try this again! Doggone it, I'm so bad at that. Oh, that's not good. I got comboed! I hate the fat guys. They're very obnoxious. It doesn't help that Maleficent's D-Link commands are not very good. Out of all the D-Links in the game, Maleficent is definitely one of the weakest ones. No, not Aqua! Okay, I gotta change the freaking order. I push down and it goes up. That's gonna drive me crazy. Like, I push down, boom, it goes up to Blizzard Edge. I, I'm changing that as soon as this fight's over. Because that is going to drive me crazy. Just like the letter C. Okay. Maleficent. Let's go. There we go. That's what it's supposed to look like. Okay, let's get out of here. What the heck? I hate not having a counter. Normally if you guard, you're supposed to be able to counter, but you have to unlock that ability in this game. And apparently we don't unlock it until the Cinderella world. I guess that's another reason to do the Cinderella world first, but then the plot doesn't make sense. At least when you take all three characters' stories into account. The timeline gets completely messed up. Alright. Yeah, right. I just want to get the final Maleficent level up, and then I can never summon her again as a demon. Also, Terra is the most physically durable out of all of the four or three main characters. There we go. Okay. That's good. I know I said I could just immediately revert, but I do want to use Maleficent's uh, second com uh, command ability, Fainting the Diggy. Just to say that I've done it. And also because it looks freaking boss. Oh, now you give me another of those, uh, Paupu fruits. Oh, hi! This looks like a job for Fission Fyraga. Apparently Fission Fyraga leads to critical impact. What?! I hate critical mode at times. I get hit by two fiends and it's just like, you're dead? Even though I was at full HP. Oh, this is so annoying. And it's not like, oh, you should have healed. It's like, I was at full HP. This is just the way it is. And at this point in the game, I don't really have a lot of great defensive options. Oh, yeah. So, see, it looked like it was draining a bunch of my focus. But then when I actually, uh, did it. Oh, wait. I am at maximum dealing? Did it save that even though I lost the fight? No! I freaking hate the fat guys! They can just... If, if they do that bouncing attack, they can just combo you into themselves over and over again, and you will die on critical mode if you don't guard it. And if you're busy attacking, you can't guard it. So wait. Oh, it remembers that I actually got Maleficent to the max dealing. Okay. Change of plans. Hi, Ventus. This is way better. Yeah, this is way better. Yeah, like I said, the Ventus D-Link is disgustingly good. I'm so glad you get it really early on in the game. Beautiful. Oh no, you don't, stupid fat guy. 
air dive is great against the fat guys, though. Because you're completely invincible while you're doing it. And I'm killing things so fast, I can refill with their HP orbs. Oh, no, you don't! Die! Good lord! That fight was way took way more tries than it should have. I love Ventus D-Link. And we obtained Air Slide. Press uh, uh, square while jumping through, or while jumping to dash through the air. The higher the command's level, the farther you can dash. This is what they want you to have in order to get Fission Fyraga, but they want you to have it at like max level. Lost her. She said she doesn't know anything about Master Xehanort. That leaves me with just one other option. The mirror. Back at the castle. Well, I guess I gotta kill Snow White after all. <laughs> No, Terra's not gonna kill Snow White. He's not that evil. I better return to the castle. The queen's waiting for me. Ooh, I'm hungry for crystals. Back to the courtyard. Alright, I don't think I got enough money for an extra sliding dash, but let's see. Oh, I did! I totally did. Yes. Oh, 1,500 money for Fishing Fire Aga. That's about right. What I have a great thing about Fission Fyraga is that um, it can be used to meld an extremely powerful command. Blizzard Edge has reached the maximum level, so the Leaf Bracer really is yours to keep. That's just fantastic. Oh, and our cure is level two as well. Sweet, we can replace this. <laughs> we can replace this old cure with a brand new identical one. <laughs> our fire is max level, so let's replace that. Blizzard Edge max level. Let's replace that as well. Cool. Oh wait, but before we do, actually no, not before we do. This is just how it's going to happen. We'll replace our old sliding dash with the new sliding dash, though. That's pretty cool. Oh, and one other thing. Uh, action command, we actually have to equip air slide. Which means we can now... Mm, do, wow. Ground slide, air slide. Big difference. Can't wait to forge a, a D-Link with Queen, Queen Grimhilda. Do we have all the treasure in this world? Uh, no, we are missing one. Oh yeah, I know which one is missing. That's perfectly all right. We will go back and grab that. Well, what am I doing? I can D-Link Ventus. Well, once I get like one extra thing of Link points, I can. Oh great, you. Terrorist mage! Oh man, they're not giving me any dealings. There we go. Oh, one other thing. I, I said... I said I was gonna change the command deck, uh... Directions. If you go to config... Uh, camera up and down, that's fine. Command deck, flipped. That's flipped? Pressing down to go down is flipped? What kind of a sadist are you? There, now if I push down, it actually moves down to cure. Go figure. Okay. Well, first off, if there are enemies here, there are. Okay. We're gonna level up some of our commands here. Alright, Binding Strike has reached its maximum level, so we get combo F blue. That's great. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We have two sliding dashes that we're going to equip now. Because you might be wondering, well, hey, how the heck do you get across to that platform over there? The answer is two sliding dashes. Once they fully charge, you're gonna see how. We're gonna jump, sliding dash, sliding dash. And we're gonna deal with Ventus just for good luck. Cure level, that's great. And if you're wondering, oh, can you air dive to get here, Ivor? No, because air dive will always, when it's finished, it'll always send you back to where you were when you started using it. This is the last chest, and it contains Flame Salvo, which is another new shot lock command. But again, because Sonic Shadow is still not max level, I'm not going to switch over to the different uh, shot logs here. Actually, Sonic Shadow might be max level now. No, it's not. But it's getting there. Alright, now it's time to meld some commands. So, 
Our two cures are now high enough level. We can meld them with each other. And this will give us Cura. And now we have Pulsing Crystal, Soothing Crystal, and Hungry Crystal now. Okay, we're going to give it a Hungry Crystal. This will be mildly helpful. This gives us Cura with Treasure Magnet. Treasure Magnet will be nice because it'll scoop up the HP prizes, money prizes, and elite prizes for us. And you can have up to five of those equipped. Uh, now that we've finished with the sliding dashes, let's see. Uh, I want to meld the two fires together first off. And for these two... I am going to give a soothing crystal too. Melvin needs to give her. will give us a fire up with an HP boost ability. Which, as you may have guessed, will raise our maximum HP. Can I metal Blizzard Edge with Binding Strike? I actually genuinely don't remember what this makes, so I'm going to have to look this up. Okay, yeah, we're going to merge these with the Pulsing Crystal. And this will give us Freeze Raid with Finish Boost. And that will increase the power of our Finish Commands. Like Terra Smash, for example. So, at this point, we now got to prep for the boss. So we want Freeze Raid, we want Fyra, we definitely want that Cura at the end, and I'm even going to set a shortcut to Cura in case of emergencies. What else should we have? Um, I guess Poison Edge? So we can level that up, maybe? A lot of these don't level up as you do them. And I'll equip the max level Sliding Dash, because I guess we might as well, right? Alright, and with that, we are ready to face the boss, and the boss is actually kind of tricky. So, oh wait, hang on. One other thing, uh, go to stock. Okay, no, we would have to go to commands. I want to see if I can use one of the item commands from here. Can I use the balloon letter? Do I have, literally have to equip the balloon letter in my deck in order to use it? I want to have a... I want to have a full link gauge in, uh, for this upcoming fight. Alright, fine. Panacea removes all uh, status elements. Ether can restore some of your focus gauge. I'm going to equip the balloon letter and use it. And then sign sending a letter to our friends will restore our link gauge, apparently. Because we remember to write home. Aw, isn't that sweet? Alright, here we go. Back to the queen. I'm sure she'll understand, right? Hey, queen. How dare you return here, you blundering fool. What are you talking about? <laughs> I ordered you to bring me Snow White's heart. A request I chose to ignore. You know, you claim to be radiant, but all I see are shadows of jealousy. True. Thick on your heart. You will pay for such insolence. I'd love to fight Magic you. Magic mirror on the wall. Consume this fool once and for all. <laughs> Alas, my liege, that I cannot do. I have no power save answers true. Uh oh. Huh? You dare defy your queen? Uh-oh. Now he's gonna do the do. And we get sucked into the magic mirror because of her magic potion, I guess. And this leads to one of my favorite bosses in the whole game. Defeat the spirit of the magic mirror. This fight is trippy and kind of difficult, and I love it. I also just love the magic mirror. He's such a cool character. Alright, so he's gonna dive into the ground, and there's a whole bunch of magic mirrors that appear now, but only one is the real one. And the real one is the one that is smiling at you somewhat creepily. But you, you, you're gonna want to watch out because he can definitely hurt a lot. It must, be. must it be? Fire. Okay, this is a bit trippy. <laughs> All right, keep an eye out for one that's smiling. This goes on forever, but eventually it'll loop back. I see him. There he is. Where 
where to go. That move is terrifying when he goes when he says, Best beware. That can like literally just kill you in one hit. At least on critical mode. Vision Fire Aga also homes in on him, but oh man. How do you like shot locks? Oh, look at that. Yeah, shot locks just shred the HP bar. Alright, let's finish this. Once you hit him enough, he'll be getting knocked to the ground. One of my favorite death quotes. How unfortunate. Our max HP is increased and we learned the Firestorm command style. Which is basically a diamond dust, but for fire. How did you escape? I do the do. Now you will ask the mirror. Where can I find Master Xehanort? <laughs> or I'll beat you up. Magic mirror, instruct this knave. Give him the answers he doth crave. Beyond both light and dark he dwells, where war was waged upon the fells. Is that all? Yep. <laughs> you did just beat me up. <laughs> Thanks. You've been a big help. The Chad Terra is instructed to kill a girl, doesn't kill the girl, <laughs> beats up a mirror, gets the answer he wants, thanks the villain for giving him the answer, and then leaves. <laughs> there you go. People will mock Terra for being an idiot, but he would never intended on killing Snow White in this world. But he could have, uh, could have maybe seemed a little less suspicious in this world. But here we get a new Keyblade, the Treasure Trove Keyblade, a Keyblade that makes up for its poor reach with a balanced boost in strength and magic. Beautiful. That's a new Keyblade that we actually will want to equip. And there we go. Dwarf Woodlands complete. I don't think we got a single sticker in that world. Did we? If we go to reports in our sticker album. Uh, sticker collection. Yeah, there were two in that world and we didn't get either of them. I think they were both out of our reach, to be fair, but yeah. Oh, and our sticker album. Uh, if we get 20 points, we get a Pulsing Crystal. 40 points, we get Fireworks. 70 points, we get a Limit Storm. 110 points, we get Sonic Blade. And 140 points, we get Rhythm Mixer. Whatever that is. Alright, what stickers do we have? Oh boy, a hot air balloon. Let's put it in the sky. So you can put something anywhere on the screen. If it just kind of goes like... You'll only get like 5 points. But if it sparkles, then you'll get 7 points. And that's the highest amount. Because it's a balloon, we want to put it in the sky. And balloons. Let's put that right there. Beautiful. 14 points already. Awesome. And before I forget, next time we are going to equip the Treasure Trove Keyblade because... Well, I mean... It has a slightly less reach than the Earthshaker, but it does boost our magic by one. So I think... it. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's worth it. Because we are going to be using magic more from now on, as you saw by our copious amounts of fire commands. There's a reason for that. We have Finish and Fire Ga... And fire uh, and fire. All of that. There is a reason for all of that. It's all for the future. But that is where we're going to end this episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Colorful Artie. Next time we go to the Castle of Dreams, the Cinderella world, which combat-wise should be easier than the last world. Uh, hopefully we will finally learn to counterattack, and uh, it'll also have some of the most obnoxious world music you'll ever hear. Just you wait. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.